today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas. And the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the New York Giants. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And the offense last week, they had things. All right, guys. Here we go. Week five. Cowboys, Giants, two NFC East rivalries, rivals, and we're underway here in Dallas. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Here comes this Dallas offense led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he Had a good game last game. The one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver. Big game by C.D. Lamb to start the game off. Hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Yards. Numbers for Zeke from last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. They're down two. He's on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Give to Elliott. And he's taken down at the 40. And Jarwin injured on the play. The first. Now, he looks the okay day there. Got a man down on the field. Well, he gets attended to. He'll step aside. A first down carry by Elliott. He can't get him down. And past the 35, he'll be. 11 yard run there by Ezekiel Elliott. A tough run by Ezekiel Elliott, the fourth overall pick in the 2016 draft. If you watch tape of him in college, you saw plenty of those runs because I know the highlight showed him in the open field breaking away from people, but that's how he wore down defense. Ooh. Those exact type of runs. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Draw play, Elliott. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They're down seven for the Cowboys here. Throwing. Prescott. Open. Man, Lamb. It's complete. And Lamb. The Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Elliott, toss right. Down he goes at the eight yard game by Ezekiel Elliott. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. The game. Yard to bring up third and one. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Trying to run for it with Pollard. 
on the will get the first down. He's tackled at the five. The stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first to go. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big time pickup right there. And I go right at him with another momentum play. I go quickly and it's because right now they probably have their heads down and they didn't stop him on third. That could have been picked. Line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Looking to throw. Prescott. Oh, do an interception. Julian Love picks it. And the Giants are going to take possession. Of the All that ball. time off the clock. On the opening drive. The that's, um, that's tough. And leading them out, their third-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. And no excitement unless you, unless you're on the defensive team of last week in his numbers because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown pass. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that, and they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard, fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. Bottom line, how do they get a win? And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Throwing Jones. He's going to air one out. Oh my gosh. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys. 58 yard gain. It's a big time play there for the G Man. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. That's the end of the first quarter. Scoreless here in Dallas. We're scoreless after one. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. <coughs> a gain of just a yard. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Back to throw again. He dumps it off. To and that's Bentley. fourth down. And get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll get only a yard out a of turnover, it'll bring but up that was a big, down. big stop. Kick is right through. Giants the with Giants. the 3-0 lead here in Dallas. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now that was unfortunate. We got the interception on this. Anytime you can get to the red zone, and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. On second down, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Peppers gets injured there. Running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Off the play fake, Prescott rolling to his right. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. It's incomplete. I mean, it would have been nice if it would have gotten complete. <laughs> it wasn't. An incomplete <laughs> pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Prescott. They'll set up the screen. Oh, that was a great. And that play went nowhere. Losing that was a great defense there. Be back at the 36. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan. If we would have gotten broken free. Everyone on that play, they were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. 
Oh. Boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where there's Wow, I thought I got it. It's gonna be a footer so short. They'll get eleven, but still a little short. Fourth down. When you run a screen pass really well, you gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Didn't get it. Mark, I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed he did not. They stop him. That was a risk, but throwing on first down. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And a five yard gain gets him to the 42. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. Two minute warning here, Dallas. Game. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger. Than oh, big sack there. Down, the Cowboys sack. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. No! Come on, man. Unbelievable. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That was costly. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space. The big guys leading the way. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Jones. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Yeah, the Giants are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Now they set up the screen for Clemson. Oh, that would have been big if we were out of fumble. Fulton losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. To Barkley on the check down. Nice stop. The Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And a big sack there. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Gano's kick is good. And they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. So they wind up turning the turnover into points as they convert there for three. Yeah, that was a nice job there to force the fumble. They recover, hand things over to their offense, and then the offense went down and got them three. That alone, that's not enough to win a game, but both units able to do their jobs on these last two drives. The Cowboy offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Going to take a shot for Gallup. Oh, and, and it's going to be a first down, Dallas. Signal for their third and final timeout. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Prescott now. Eluding the pressure right. That's caught once again by Gallup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. Back to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. Touchdown, Dallas. 
a clutch offensive touchdown in the first half. The Cowboys are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. We've been together a few years, and you know that I really ride the wave of old momentum. What a pass. What a drive by Dak Prescott. Between being down six and possibly being up one. And right now, they've got that opportunity. No doubt. That is a big time. And we're going to hit the crossbar. And the Cowboys lead 7 6. And they take the lead here at 7 6. Wow. So, with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. Our defense has played big, keeping them out of the end zone. But the Giants are not going to do nothing here. Coming out as they line up to kneel on it. All that remains that will send us over into the second half. The first half of play. So we have come to Giants here in Dallas. have had Cowboys opportunities to put points on the board. They only got six. Impressive it's drive by Dap Prescott. Cowboys tied to take the lead in the final the seconds of the first half. First, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in week five. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where it was the visiting Saints who were able to walk away with the road victory. Jameis Winston, terrific in the victory, as his guys up their mark to 4-1 and one now. From there, let's head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home at U.S. Bank Stadium. And they were losers in that game as they fall to the visiting Detroit Lions. Jared Goff leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And things didn't work out for them as they fall to the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Devontae Smith, up close to 100 yards receiving there. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back. For All right, here we go. Start of the third quarter. The Giants set to get the football, and they trail here as we get back under. That's a touchback. In the second half. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Giants about set to go to begin this third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through in the second half and take the lead? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is thank their defense for keeping them in this game. You know, I think the defense is saying back to them, why don't you guys focus on getting some first downs, put some drives together, give us a little bit of a break here. If we can get some rest, we'll play even better for you. And oh, by the way, pay off a few of those drives with some points, too. Meanwhile, Jones throw here, taken in by Ingram. And we always Daniel Jones has been phenomenal. Evan Ingram is a wide receiver in a tight end's frame. 63 catches last year en route to his first Pro Bowl nomination. On first down, Jones. And the Cowboys. That was a big sack. It's time for the sack. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. Second and 21. A lot of ground to cover. Another try after the first down sack. Jones. Incomplete pass there. Nearly picked. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Once more, he was trying to get it to Kenny Galladay, and it's third down. Looking to throw. Jones. That's, That's out of bounds. And he's out. That will be fourth down. This one up to the 35. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taken in at the 22. And just a net of 31 here. 40 yard punt. All right, here we go. Return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. And they get him down, but not before first down across the 40 yard line. 49 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. 
first downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And this is... Big completion there. The what a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. 33 yards. Side through the air. 33 yards. Tenth carry now for Alley. He'll be brought down at the 21. Four yard gain there. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that'll feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut well, that's not a good run. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. No gain on the play there. So They're down six here. Down and six. Prescott. And this is a rocket pulled in by Mari Cooper holding on. Get him down, but he does reach the five. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense could get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first to goal. Now Elliott. And he is in Ezekiel Elliott with the touchdown. 14-6. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. No oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, Parker, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, they look like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, fine between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. All right, here we go. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. That is going to be a touchback. Giants. And this will not 14 unanswered for Dallas. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. <coughs> it's time they had it. What steps, Charles, you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. From the 27, Jones finds his tight end, Ingram. Yeah, that's the first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm gonna follow right along with you because the spot that was a good stop. Is a credit to Net win in the third quarter. Here in Dallas. Fourth quarter upon us. NFC divisional rivals going back and forth. 14 6 Dallas. That's been an issue for them in this game. The Giants on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Off the play fake. Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. That was a huge first down. First down here as the tackles made at the Cowboys 32 yard line. And that's a much huge first down. down. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it'll make it a second down. They'll look to throw again. And Incomplete pass there. Complete. Great defense call there. Putting him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Now Jones from the gun on third down. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. 
And no one happier to see that than the Giants fans themselves. Saquon Barkley was used on <coughs> all these <coughs> under routes. A record for NFL rookies. That fell off to 52 in 2019. And then, of course, the injury in week two at Chicago last year prevented him from reaching those heights. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. Oh, that's holding. Offensive holding. Enzo. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Holding. Yep. Late game. That hurts. Take the touchdown off the board. No doubt about it. And this is where you make a great movie scene, right? Go in, rally the team. Okay, we lost points there. Let's get it back. And go oh, touchdown. Giants. Corey Clement, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Giants have a chance to tie things up. And they're going to try to tie it here. Here in the fourth. Jones throwing for it. No good. Zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. No good. Failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was a right That's a good call. To just tie the game there. Kick an extra point. You're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. And he'll be stopped. All right, smart football here, boys. 307 to play. Yard shy of there at the 24. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock defensively. They have First down by Ezekiel Elliott. On the football here, or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times, to punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. On second down, Elliott. First down. Just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 83 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. We're going for the end zone. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he'll get two or three. That's a two-minute warning here in Dallas. To the two Dallas leads 14-12. Lawrence that time in on the stop. Second and seven here. In possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And Big run. That's not what they needed. Now a look at Smith. Not sure exactly what happened. But he's Unfortunately, that was an injury to the Dallas. Totally home free. <coughs> Looking good as they come up first and ten. While the training staff takes a peek. We'll Giants call a timeout here. Oh, he's hurt. Blue Sternum. Tyrone Smith out for the rest of this game. Down, if they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. First down. And he's brought down at the 24. After Second time out for the Giants. Trying to slow this game down here. Third down in Number inches. Coming on this drive. It's Crucial three. drop here. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And, down and that's game. Team shy of the 10. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. And he'll take it. And Jack win. That's the game. Touchdown. Cowboys pulling away. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. 21 12. Extra point. And it might seal the deal as that makes it a two score game here with not a No timeouts for the Giants here. Now, after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. 
Dallas, after going 0-2, no scores in either of the first two games of the season. We're going to come out here, win three straight. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Jones. Pass complete to Shepard. And he gets no timeouts for the Giants. Down at the 39. First down now, but the clock continues to move. How in the world did Daniel Jones not get tackled? Throw deep downfield. And that is it. How did he not get tackled at all there? Certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect him to call a couple. And this is it. Interception. And that should do it. Pick six to end it. And he takes Cowboys with the big lead the now. Zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he will get into the end zone, but there is a flag down. This one may be coming back. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. It's not that often you see a two-point try from that distance. And, of course, it's not that often that it's successful and it wasn't there. And who added all this thinking to the game, right? <laughs> because now you've got so much extra to consider. 24 seconds to play. Do you go for two from that spot now after the penalty? Or do you say, we're going to kick it, which means they have to administer the penalty from the yeah, 20. Yeah, you would have been pushed the 15, back further. Yep. Now you're back further. Can you make that one? It's a lot of extra stuff on what used to be a routine play. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Jones. And Almost another pick. And incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20. And the Cowboys. Team left. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw is Jones. He's going to let it fly. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep. Fourth down and 10. Ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this Game over. Complete. Dallas will win three straight <laughs> and take the lead in the NFC East. Oh, she wrote for this one. Scott. Quarterback Neal. And that should just about do it. And the Cowboys win three straight. And Charles, I think when the schedule two over division rivals, no where they're predicted to a dominating win against Carolina. If they were able to do that here in this one. Similar to and the Cowboys right? up three two on the season. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Dallas, they move back over 500 at three and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the New England Patriots. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they'll fall to one and four with a loss. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Los Angeles Rams. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right. What a game. Cowboys get the win. A little struggle at the beginning. Our defense really kept us in this game. Giving up those two uh, field goals in the first half. And then the big touchdown in the half pretty much got our momentum going. 
and we win 27 to 12 over the Giants.